Every year, Stack Overflow publish a survey about what's inside a programmer's head. All they find is a mind full of regrets, but they don't show this reality. Instead, they show some numbers. In the admired language section of the last published survey, you will be shocked to know that JavaScript was not in the top 10, not even in the top 15 most admired languages, while Python manages to hold the eighth place in the race. But we are here to talk about something else. Second most admired language. See, first place is predictable, because for the past nine years, Rust has been at rank one in admiration. Rust is like a manual car. Everybody loves it, but everybody doesn't use it. Second most admired language is shockingly new, but in a good way. Gleam. You will be shocked to know that this language was not even in the top 40 list last year. And suddenly, in one year from nowhere, Gleam overtook all the programming languages and became the second most admired language in the world. What changed in one year that Gleam became so popular? There are a few reasons, and one of them is that last year, in 2024, Gleam released its first ever stable version, 1.0. From April 2019 to March 2024, Gleam has released a total of 34 major unstable versions. And then after five years, there was a version 1.0. But everyone hits puberty, does everyone get a girlfriend? No. For example, Rust launched its first stable version after five years in 2015, and similarly, Rust reached the top of the table within one year. Because Rust was solving the problem associated with C, like type safety and memory management. Similarly, Gleam has a strong type system like Rust, so you get all the safety benefits without the complexity headaches that come with Rust's ownership model. But that's not the only reason. Gleam compiles to both Erlang and JavaScript, making it a unique choice for developers who want the best of both worlds. Gleam runs on the Erlang virtual machine. For those of you who don't know, Erlang is the reason behind WhatsApp delivering 40 billion messages on a daily basis. So Gleam is capable of handling billions of processes efficiently. But when it comes to memory safety, it's a little behind Rust because Gleam relies on a garbage collector while on the other hand, Rust uses compile time ownership and borrowing for memory management. And remember when I said it compiles to JavaScript too? This means you can write your backend in Gleam using the Erlang virtual machine and your front end in Gleam compiling to JavaScript. Now you were thinking that your Node.js with TypeScript can do the same thing. Yes, it can, but when it comes to performance, Gleam beats Node.js in the backend, and the main benefit of using Gleam is isolated processes, which ensure that crashes don't bring down the system. While in Node.js, uncaught exceptions can crash the app. That's why out of all Gleam users, 8% of developers have already started using Gleam in production. 8% is a big number for a language that has just launched a stable version and has only 968 packages. While Node.js has around 1,000 plus packages for every functionality needed in a web app. The community around Gleam is small, but growing. But here's the million dollar question. Is this just hype or is Gleam actually the future? 